Hello and welcome to First Look. I'm Young John, and today what we're going to look at is uh, two different magic arms by Manfrotto. This is the 143N and the 244N. Now they accomplish the same thing, but they lock in different ways. So let's unbox the 143N first. Now you'll notice that it comes in a brown box. It's plain, uh, doesn't advertise anything except professional lighting supports. On the front and the back, it's just a plain brown box. If we open this guy up, here we have the actual product. This is the 143N. It's got two arms. I think it's 20 inches from one side to the other side when you open it up like this. And you have a lever lock that looks like that. On the ends, you see the ball joints that you can manipulate to 90 degrees from here. Uh, and you can rotate around. So this is a variable arm, okay? This is working in every kind of shape or form you want until you make the lock. Let's see what else we have in the box. We have some Allen wrenches. We have two of them here, large one and a smaller one. You have your instruction manual here and instructions in different languages. And that's it. You have your magic arm, Allen wrenches, and your paperwork. So this is the 143N. Let's unbox the 244N, which also comes in a plain brown box. The only thing you can see is professional lighting support. And on the side in tiny print is 244N made by Manfrotto. Now this box is also not wrapped, shrink wrapped, or taped or anything. So it's very easy just to open it up and see what you're getting. Now this guy here, is the same exact thing, except the locking mechanism is a knob instead of a lever. So this has come in not assembled, and you just kind of twist it in. Your instruction manual here, and that's basically it. In a side-by-side -side comparison, this is the lever and this is the knob. They both work the same, they look the same. You set the very arm in any position you want and you lock it in place by twisting this and stiff. You can't move it after you lock it in place. Same idea with this. You set up what you want to set up, twist the knob and it's locked into place. These magic arms scream of quality. Almost everything is made of metal. Now if you look at the build, you can see that the ball joints are metal. All of this is metal. And the only plastic bits are the handle here and this joint over here. They use the same components and the only differences here are these parts. These are heavy duty too. Like you can feel it right away like this. You can knock them around and you know, nothing will happen to them. This built like a tank is so solid that if you use this to bang into something, that thing you're banging is probably gonna break before this thing does. When you first open these up, the joints are pretty stiff. I'm going to move this around just so you can get a feel for the relative stiffness of it. It's like that. And if I move this, you can see how stiff it is from me moving this part here. You saw that you got the Allen wrench. You can come here and you can tighten it up or loosen that up if that should ever change. It's a little bit different with the 244N. This is very, very loose. And by its very nature, you tighten it by twisting this knob here. So you shouldn't ever need to tighten it up using an Allen wrench. You just do this and it should be tight. Loosen it up as much as you want. You can tighten it up a little bit just to, you know, stiffen it up. And that's one of the benefits of having a variable knob is that you can control the stiffness at which to move around your magic arm. Whereas with this, you're kind of stuck with this stiffness here, that's it, you know, until you lock it in place. On the ends, you'll see two different sizes. It accepts male quarter 20 threads, and this one is the bigger size. I forget the number, but you have two, to, two of the standard sizes. And uh, the 244 does the same. You have the quarter 20, and you have the bigger size there. These things are made in Italy. It's not made in China. Maybe that's why they cost $120 or so, because these things are still made over in Europe where expenses are higher, but the quality is what it is as it always has been for Manfrotto products. They're all made in Italy, according to the label. 
So the idea behind these guys is to support lighting and cameras. Now the reason why you're seeing these silver posts here is uh, so I can illustrate to you uh, what I'm using these magic arms for. I have a magic arm already, the lever type 143, above me in a camera shooting overhead. The reason why I got two more of these is to support the lights. You'll see a light over there, you'll see a light over here, and basically I have no space in my tiny apartment. I usually end up having to move my lights every time I want to use the bathroom or get a sip of water. So you can see from this setup that I'm using a metro rack, I have a camera up there, and I have two lights currently on light stands down there and down there. So I can't pass through this way or that way. Getting rid of that will save me a lot of time of having to move this aside, put it back, and then readjust the lights. You can't just use these magic arms by themselves. You'll need additional grip like super clamps. So for example, you'll need something that looks like this. And you'll see here a kind of gripping hole that you will stick this into. You lock this into place, and I'm gonna clamp this guy into this pole right over here. So now you see that this arm can be moved around in whatever position you want. It's very angle, which is great. And now I'm going to take a light like this. And uh, since it already has this built in, you don't need to buy any other sort of, uh, you know, attachment. I'm going to stick this in, put it in a position where I want it to be, and I'll just simply lock it into place like that. And I'll turn this on and the light will come on and that'll be great. For this guy here, I am going to take another super clamp, like so. I'll put this into here. Where is the horror? Lock it into place. And this time maybe I'm doing photography. I'll take my flash and you'll notice that my flash has another piece of uh, grip on it that I can attach it to. And now we can attach this into the magic arm here. Now I can angle this arm, change it in any direction you want, and lock it into place. So which one should I buy? Well, they both do the same thing. That's a given. The lever lock is quicker and it's good for lights because you don't have to be super accurate as if you have a camera on the end. So let's say this is a camera now and you point it down at something, but the minute you move the lever lock, it's gonna shift it a little bit. Lock, okay. So it might have moved it a little left or right. So you can't really be sure until you look at the monitors and you're like, oh man, and you wanna shift it, you have to unlock it, readjust it, and then lock it and hope that you get, ah, uh, the camera pointing in the area that you want to point it to. But for lights, it doesn't matter as much. This is a one-stop action. It'll work very quickly. Now, the thing about the knob lock is that you have to twist it so many times. So it's not practical if you're just putting up a light because you have to keep twisting the knob. So here, let me show you. Here, well, I put this into order. This is the camera, okay? And you have to keep twisting it but it doesn't move, it doesn't shift when you lock it into place. So for a camera, this might work great, but for a light, two, three, four, five, six, seven, before you can actually move this arm away, you have to like twist turn this like seven times, which is annoying if you have a lot of lights. So for that, it might not be worth it. From my personal perspective, the lever locks are great for lights because it's really, really fast, and the knob locks are great for cameras because it's more accurate. But as a whole, these magic arms are a godsend for placing lights and cameras in places where you can't put light stands or you have really odd spaces or really odd angles. I've gotten rid of the light stands, replaced by these two magic arms over there and over there. If you look down here, there is now a clear pathway from that chair around this way and around this way, so I can run to the bathroom or get a drink whenever I feel like it without accidentally kicking the light stand away and having to readjust these lights. It costs a couple of hundred dollars for those two guys, but it'll save me a great deal of headache, time, and aggravation. Thank you very much for watching this video on the Manfrotto Magic Arms. This is the 143N with the lever lock. This is the 244N with the knob lock. And you can add a whole bunch of other accessories for lights, for camera, and even stuff like tabletops like this. 
Uh, they cost extra, of course, but they are available. The Magic Arms cost in the neighborhood of $100, $120 or so. And if you're looking for prices, we'll list Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes. Now, these guys are extremely useful in tight places where you can't put stands. And for me, they're really great because it'll allow me to run to the bathroom when I need to. If you haven't subscribed to the First Look YouTube channel, please take a moment to do so now, and we shall see you all again next time.